Okay, welcome back super geniuses. Today's video lecture is going to be about solving equations with fractions. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. Okay, so the first equation that we're fraction we're going to solve this one right here. So x plus 3 half is equal to 1 half. Okay. So how are you going to solve this equation? Well, anytime you're solving an equation, you know, your goal something like this is do what? Get this variable x by itself. So you've got to ask yourself, okay, what do you got to do to x to get it by itself? Well, you just do what? Subtract 3 halves from both sides. Okay. And now, what is 1 half minus 3 halves? Well, 1 half minus 3 halves is what? Negative 2 halves. Okay. And then negative 2 halves reduced is what? negative 1. Alright, so that's that one. Let's try the next one over here. So we got 7 third x is equal to a negative 7 halves. Okay, so we got 7 thirds times x. So you got to do the inverse of what? Multiplication to get this x by itself. So it's the inverse of multiplication? Division. Okay, or you can do what to get x by itself? You can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 7 over 3, so what's the reciprocal of 7 over 3? 3 over 7. And if I do it to one side, I've got to make sure I do it to the other side. Okay, so over here, 7's cancels, 3's cancels. So I'm just left with x on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, I have negative 7 over 2 times 3 over 7. Well, these 7's right here cancels. Okay. So you're just left with negative 7, excuse me, negative 3 over 2. So x equals negative 3 over 2. Alright, so any questions about that? Okay, let's move on to another one. How about we have negative 2 ninths x minus 3 fifths. is equal to 4 fifths x minus 3 halves. Okay. So now let's try to work this one. So here, what are you going to try to do? Well, the first thing you want to do is isolate your variable term. So in other words, get all your variables on one side and then get all your numbers on the other side. So to get all my variables on one side, I'm going to choose to pull all my variables to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 4 fifths x from both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to choose to pull all my numbers to the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 3 fifths to both sides. All right. So this cancels here, and then these cancel here. Okay, so now we got negative 2 ninths x minus 4 fifths x. And then what, what do we have over here? Uh, it looks like negative 3 halves plus 3 fifths. Okay, so our next step would be to try to combine our like terms. Now notice we got fractions, okay? So we can't combine those like terms until the fractions will have what? The same denominator. Okay, so now we got to figure out what the common denominator is. So what's the common denominator on this side? On this side, your common denominator would be what? 45? Okay. And on this side, your common denominator would be what? 10. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is ask myself what times 9 gives me 45. Well, it's 5. So I multiply the top and bottom by 5. So negative 2 times 5 is what? Negative 10. And then 9 times 5 is 45. 
and then I do the same thing to this one. So what times 5 gives you 45? Well, that's 9. So 5 times 9 is 45, and then 4 times 9 is 36. Okay. And we've got to do a similar process over here. So we say our common denominator is 10. So 2 times what gives you 10? That would be 5. Okay. So then 3 times 5 is 15. One to 10 our denominator. 5 times 2 gives you 10. So then 3 times 2 is what? 6. All right. And then let's add our like terms here. So now we got negative 10 x minus 36 x. So negative 10 x minus 36 x would be negative 46 over 45 x. Okay. And then over here, negative 15 plus 6. So what's negative 15 plus 6? That would be uh, negative 9, excuse me, yeah, negative 9x. Mm -hmm. Negative 9 over 10. Okay. And then now what are we going to do? Well, our goal is always to do what? Get x by itself. Okay, so what are we going to do to get x by itself? We're going to have to multiply both sides by what? By the reciprocal. Okay, so what is the reciprocal of negative 46 over 45? Well, the reciprocal of negative 46 over 45 is negative 45 over 46, and I'm going to do that to both sides. Okay, so that causes all the fractions on the left-hand side to simplify. That allows us to focus in on the right-hand side. So we got x equal to, okay. And before we multiply our 45 over 46, we see if we can reduce any, uh, and I think we can. <clears throat> so 10 and 45 both share a common factor of 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Don't forget that was negative 45, so that's a negative 9. Okay. So negative 9 times 9 is what? Negative 81. And then 2 times 46 is what? Okay, 92. You can double check my work. Email me if I got it wrong. So 81 over 92, negative 81 over 92, can that reduce? I don't think so, so then there's your answer. Alright, so that concludes my lecture over solving equations with fractions. And you can look me online, www.supergenius99.com. And once again, I always appreciate you for watching. So have a great day.